guys, thank you so much for joining me. In this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about what it's been like to daily drive a 2001 Ford Mustang GT stick shift uh, manual transmission. Um, I have been daily driving this car for the past six months, um, and I was a little bit nervous at first. So originally I had bought this car because I didn't know how to drive stick shift, and I wanted to learn. So, you know, reasonable thing to do is buy a car that you don't know how to drive and uh, shout out to Steve, my neighbor. Uh, he taught me how to drive stick shift. I learned probably in about an hour or two, you know, first like week or two. Uh, I stalled it a couple times, you know, got into some uh, nerve wracking situations, but you know, I learned now I can drive perfectly. No stalling, nothing. I can launch the car. have fun with it but at first when I first bought this car I was a little bit nervous it is a 21 year old car so um, let me start driving here that way I can talk and drive um, but when I first bought this car I was a little bit nervous about the reliability it is a 21 year old car I mean there's cars that are you know three four or five years old that are unreliable um, I'm not gonna name any names but um, but this is a 21 year old car so when I first bought this car I was really nervous that uh, you know it was gonna leave me stranded and my job I have to be at my job at a certain time with you know no excuses like whatever it takes to get there like even if I'm dying I have to show up to work so um, I was a little bit nervous that this car would leave me stranded um, but so far you know like I said six months of driving it I've put probably like uh, 3,000 miles on it and it has been bulletproof. It has not left me stranded. It has not overheated. It has not had issues turning on. Um, and this car is very, very far from stock. I mean, this car, the chassis has 200,000 miles. The person I bought it from said there was an engine swap on it. So it is the 4.6 liter two valve, um, but it has a newer engine in it that has 45,000 miles but the engine has pretty much everything done to it other than like boost um, it's got cams bigger injectors uh, intake throttle body uh, tune um, so it has a lot of things done to it uh, transmission it has a uh, newer transmission with a heavy-duty racing clutch so I was a little bit nervous I was like you know is this car gonna leave me stranded or is it gonna be reliable so it has been absolutely super reliable no issues whatsoever um, if you're daily driving one of these cars more than likely it has already some suspension uh, set up because uh, not a lot of people leave these cars stock um, so this car is on strange coilovers it's lowered it's on aftermarket wheels um, it looks absolutely amazing the stance is perfect I would not change it at all um, daily driving it though um, it's a little bit low I mean I can clear pretty much most things there are some bigger speed bumps that I'll scrape on the exhaust actually because this car has headers also um, but I'll scrape on the exhaust a little bit on on some bigger speed bumps uh, so you know one thing to to know if you're gonna be lowering your car um, if it's adjustable then you know you can always adjust it uh, depending on how it how it feels or you know if you're scraping or bumping on anything um, but in regards to the engine and reliability it has been fantastic one thing to know I live here in Florida so there is no issue with like snow or like super bad weather uh, you know with the cold um, we are absolutely blessed to have sunny weather year-round um, so we don't have to worry about snow or traction issues in the snow that kind of thing um, I do have to worry about the rain now this car has 315 millimeter tires on the back super fat tires um, in the rain it can get super sketchy you lose traction very quickly so I just can't drive like an idiot in the rain but that's not a problem I just you know take it slow in the rain and I've never had an issue um, I used to have an 09 Mustang and again same thing it was kind of sketchy in the rain so I would always take it slow so I had that experience I know I can't go super fast in the rain um, but not that big of a deal I mean for the little bit amount of times that it rains that I'm actually driving this car um, I just have to not drive like an idiot not floor it 
and I'll be fine. Now, in regards to the space in this car, um, it is a two-door car, and it's not like a newer two-door car that has a lot more space. Like, the back seats in this car are pretty much, I wouldn't want to say unusable, but, I mean, you can fit a toddler back there, but other than that, I would definitely not recommend getting this car if you have a family or kids that you have to transport. Um, I've used the back seats probably a total of, like, three, four times. Um, so not a big deal. I barely have people ever in the back seat. But I had a family member that was in her teens, and she literally had to put her her, her feet um, sideways because she did not fit back there. Um, it's crazy. So these back seats are super cramped. If you're gonna be uh, you know moving a lot of people or something, get a minivan. Um, this is not the car for you. But you know, like I said, I've put, put people back there maybe like two, three times. Um, so not a big deal for me, but if space is an issue, this might not be the right car for you, but again, not that big of a deal. I daily drove a 2009 Mustang for like 10 years and it was, it was perfect. I don't have small kids or a family yet. Um, so not that big of a deal in regards to the, uh, front seats, the front seats are okay. They're pretty spacious. If you're a lot taller than I am, I'm like 5'10". And I fit in here I mean I have maybe like uh, three inches of headroom so if you're anything over like six feet you might have some issues uh, fitting in this car and funny story when I actually bought this car the person who sold it to me said that he was selling it to the, the person that went to go see it before me um, he was like six three or something like that and like his head would hit the roof so he didn't fit in the car um, which is why he ended up not buying it and I was able to buy it uh, so thank you tall man for not buying my car um, but yeah so I mean I fit perfectly fine in here if you're any taller um, I would definitely you know reconsider it because you might not fit in it now for the future um, I've kind of retired this car to weekend duties I have a new f-150 EcoBoost 3.5 liter um, that I'm super excited about I'm gonna do a couple modifications to that car so stay tuned if you want to see content on the f-150 um, but this car you know in traffic with the heavy-duty racing clutch it's a leg workout so I'd rather drive something that's automatic I mean I learned how to drive stick shift got it out of my system it's been an amazing experience with this car specifically so no complaints there um, but it gets uh, it gets old after a little bit you know having to engage the clutch and it's a super heavy clutch so kind of annoying after a while um, but it is an absolute blast to drive I mean if you're just going on a cruise or driving it you know on a on just you know leisurely drive it is amazing um, highly recommend these cars especially if you're just learning how to drive stick shift the parts on these cars are super cheap now that they've been out for forever and so many of them were made um, so you can really modify these cars and abuse them and it's been you know it's been tested that they take the abuse pretty well um, so absolutely fantastic car let me know what you guys think about daily driving a new edge mustang would you do it do you maybe you drive a, a, a new edge mustang on a daily basis let me know in the comments below but like i said it sounded a little crazy at first but after six months of daily driving it it's been fantastic like i said it got a little bit old after a while with the uh, clutch but that's with any stick shift car um, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below and if you like the video make sure to subscribe and hit that like button and I'll catch you in the next one